So I'm here with Jason in the Searle Magnetics Lab and we're going over the demo SEG system and now we're spinning the stator. So what we have here is the conductor band, just like we have over there on the SEG mock-up. It is designed specifically to demonstrate a particular aspect of this technology. John would say, it lasts forever, there's no wear. Well, we're going to prove it. We're going to find out why. And we're going to take one of those um, rollers, pin it over here. We're going to rotate the, uh, the conductor band got that relative motion going on, and this unit will allow us to isolate and demonstrate the principle that indeed the parts don't touch. If you look in between, it's not touching the surface. There we go. So what we've done is proven uh, what John has always claimed, that there is no wear in the, in the device, and there is no noise because the parts don't touch. This is what we call proof of concept. You can actually feel the forces. And this is just a copper band. There's no magnetics involved. Mm -hmm. When I first did these experiments, the rollers did not spin. John also described as it orbits, it spins. But what I found is, oh, wait a minute, you got to induce the magnetic waveform on it. So we simulated the waveform into it, and bam. Now, not only do we have a roller that floats, it also spins without touching. Over there, you saw that the rollers do spin because they're touching the surface, but right. here they're not. So again, we've proven another observation that John made in the past. And it's it awesome, huh? keep going, right? It, it's not a light force. But keep in mind, we're dealing with relatively minor forces. We're just trying to prove the concept of when, in it, in, when a uh, prototype is operational, they're very powerful forces. Right. But it's enough to show that it does do this and that. In the industry, you try to eliminate any current cycle from some parasite. Right. When indeed, it's our friend, and it works perfectly uh, with the system. It's mm -hmm. actually a, a train uh, levitation system. Mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. no, it's no. Aluminum track, and then there's spinning magnets. And the spinning magnets allows the uh, train to get on the aluminum track right mm -hmm. so the same principle. It still feels the magnetic force from all the way up here. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That heavy spins out. Yeah. But that's again just a copper copper ring. It's just behind the big stick. Big ring. The vibration is the balance that you get in the air side fields Yeah. Because the top of that is moving, it's, it's almost like you're pushing it down through that tube, but uh, rather spinning it around the tube. Same, same yeah. difference. Right. But yeah, it makes, makes sense that it would do this. Yeah. And look, at, it's still doing it out here. Sure. And these have relatively small velocities, and it's very the operational mode of the SSD. And the RPM is. <laughs> Um, related to its distance from here, as you'd expect. So the further you go out, the slower this is going to rotate. See that? Now it's slowing way, way down. That's awesome. Because the amount of force. What's the guy here? He has something I'll else. I'll show you the, the other one here. Now in this one we I have. Got, I got it to lock. It's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Okay, go ahead. In, the, in this side, we have magnets uh, incorporated with the copper spinning. So you can take this uh, strong neodymium uh, magnet, and this wants to attract to the ring, 
but at the last second, you can feel it does not want to push, so it right. has an equilibrium. So you can take and feel this. Does he have an yeah. It gets into that. Uh, the right polarity is feel the attractive yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it wants to attract, but the last minute it repulses. Yeah. yeah. You can feel that and then describe it, what it you're feeling. It drops into that sweet spot. So it wants to attract to the ring, but the eddies want to push it away, so it meets that equilibrium, creating a little gap between the, the roller and the stator. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can feel attraction and a certain uh -huh. point, uh, repulsion. That's another function of, of this design. And in other words, it finds an orbit. You can see how all these forces are working together to make for this generator, as observed and described it by John. Kind of Yeah, it's, again, it's a proof of concept. That's really interesting. So now we know why the rollers will stay on track. Right. Not touch the surface and yet counteract the, um, the centrifugal force. Yeah, that's awesome. It wants to grab. So the wheel's slowing down as I go close, right? Like yeah. right there? Because you get a magnetic drag. Right, right there it's... you're adding a force. Uh -huh, right there it's nice. It, but if you just leave it, it wants to meet that equilibrium. But that's just north-south. If that has the wave, it would spin while it would levitate. But right now you're just getting the levitate, but it's not... You don't experience the spinning through your fingers, right? It's just a push. Now, I, wonder I wonder if that would teach us something. I wonder if that would teach us something about making electric motors. It wouldn't. Uh, it would, you could feel it. You could just feel it repel. Right. But it will repel. Yeah. Something. Oh, yeah. You see the problem with this uniform magnet? It doesn't spin. You just feel the repulsive force. And the so solution was to put a waveform on it, like it should be, and then you would spin. So that was the key to that. Again, that's. Uh, proof of concept, that, uh, mm -hmm. verification that okay. indeed these things do happen. Oh wow, that's really it does not want to touch. That's the principle of that magro technology is that. Oh man, you can feel. And the nice thing about it yeah, is, is that, that it, it will actually stabilize. Yeah. The central position. That's really weird. Feel this. Just go like this, mm -hmm. and you can feel that. You can feel that energy. Flip that around if you want to feel the attraction and then the repulsion to it. Hold that tight. That's awesome. Right. That way it doesn't matter. You can switch right. it any other way. And you don't get the same. No, you still get slowed yeah, down. Yeah, you get the repair. Now you notice the cost is dry. Okay, but sure. with, with this design, with the SEG, because you have a, a waveform on it, it's more like a, a pebble skipping over a surface of a lake. Because it's skipping over it rather than. Rather than um, yes. Rather than breaking, which is what conventional applications do, they, they use it like a brake. But actually, yeah. with, with this technology, this is, we're actually skipping off the surface, not creating any breaking action. In fact, it's very that, similar to the uh, dam busters, um, where they build a rolling farm. That's so it's interesting. Not just skipping, you're actually rolling as you skip. Right, right. Yeah. Look. And, and that's the right way of doing it. Yeah. Because we're not trying to break anything, it doesn't break it. That's, again, yeah, it goes to show this design is workable. So it doesn't break itself. But a lot of experts think they think, oh, it's eddy currents, it's gonna break. No, it doesn't. They just don't know any better, but they think they do. So we have to educate them. I remind me of uh, saying by Fo Forrest Gump, that great philosopher. Now this it one is... is super dark. This one's a magnetic thing. Does it do anything? I notice it picks up speed. Wow. I gotta go down, guys. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me suggest you. Too. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank Don't you. We have to show the uh, viewers this last uh, demo, though, and also yes, the. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, some more demos. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. See you. Have an awesome day. Awesome see evening. You. I will see you. Uh, see you.
soon. Yes. So the next uh, demonstration unit is specifically designed to show and help us understand why should the rollers move when there's electrical power radiating out? <clears throat> well, the way I understand it now is that as electrical currents go through the rollers, the rollers experience a force. It's the right hand roll. Yeah. And it, it gives the rollers electromotive force. It's an inversion of what you see in a motor. Mm -hmm. It's the exact same. Yeah. And, and um, so what we're going to do, and the, we, the way the SEG operates, the, the electrical currents go through the atmosphere, they're emitted, and wind up back in the center. But the important thing is, we want to know what's happening to the rollers, what forces are experienced. And that's what we have over here. We simulate a roller here. All we're interested in the currents. Currents are going from the, the plate, through the wire, and back to the center again. Okay. It's an energy cycle. What will, what will this, these currents on the roller experience when you pump electrical currents through these rollers? And we'll demonstrate it right now. As you can see, and this is just DC. Unlike conventional motors where you gotta flip the currents back and forth or use reversing through commutation, this is just pure DC. It can even be pulse DC. Now we've proven right here that this it does have motor actions. The rollers will uh, orbit. They will get these forces around. They will spin. They will do all that. They will be magnetic bearing. And then you see that this is a workable design after all. And it's actually sophisticated. It's not a simple thing. There's a lot of things going on here magnetically. Uh, pardon me on this one. Is this similar to a homopolar motor here? <clears throat> it's a uh, unipolar mode. Okay. Unlike com conventional motors, which they use you know, uh, pose, they oppose it, then they, they got to go um, flip the currents, they reverse it in order to make right. the bar move around. And that makes sense for this design. It makes it more robust. It gives it uh, unlimited power. Unlike a conventional motor where you got a, got a flux going through a, a steel uh, core or mm -hmm. iron core, that's the limitation. There is no limitation here because uh, air is the... Um, it's the media. Um, I see you have large cables on this. I know it's a demonstra demonstration. Is this thing pulling some amps to here? It sure is. Uh, we're applying one volt in heavy currents. How and much? Point, how much amperage you believe? I think about 160 with okay. one volt. Okay. So what this does again, proof of concept that it does. It is workable. Uh, the project next needs to focus on the the magnetics and the detection of emissions that'll do help us do all this. So now we established and proved that all these functions are available in this design. Now we just need the power emanating from the plate as the rolls come about. And that's what we need to do next is work on the negotiation, come up with a fully programmed uh, uh, set of rollers and uh, in a stator plate. And then we know for a fact that these things will happen. We've proven it. So that's, that's the way this, with this program works. We, we do things step by step, make sure we got our feet on the ground, yeah. and apply engineering, the physics, um, and electrical principles that are inherent in the, in the generator. So we're taking the mystery out of it. We're not dealing with uh, uh, a lot of mysteries at all. And that's the way we make progress here. It's a very logical uh, process. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Nice work. Okay. This last demonstration unit is where we're headed to next, and that is to prove that you can impress waveforms on a magnetic uh, material, in other words, a magnet, instead of just north south, which is what the industry does. Mm -hmm. This 
a unit I built specifically to scan a magnetized magnetic ring. This is a gas meter probe. The gas meter probe reads it, sends the analog signal to the digital scope, and there's the sine wave nice. right there. Again, proof of concept that the man's claim of his observation test is a fact. And that waveform is, by the way, what gives us spin over here. There's a lot more to it than that, but you can see the physical effect of it. It all works together. So this is what ceramagnesis is focused on. We're going to be doing the magnetization of the magnetic components. That's know-how that stays in-house. The industry does not do it. We're the only ones that are focused in developing uh, this phenomena. And it is repeatable. It even has subcarrier waveforms right here. You can see this being repeated. Mm -hmm. That's not so you can induce by induction. It is an electronic spike, like a frequency, a high frequency spike. Now we need to work on that and keep making smooth smooth sine wave but that's okay the point is we've proven that indeed we can manifest these waveforms even though it is a north-south program can I touch this Go ahead. I'm just gonna put a little baby pressure on Not a lot that's a delicate problem, so. yeah I'm just barely pushing it It's undeniable, that's for sure. So the evidence is overwhelming. The, uh, the SCG concept has merit. Mm -hmm. uh, I've investigated child surf for 20 years now. Everything that I've investigated has been positive. And that's why I recommend anybody to support and join this uh, this business venture is what it is. Well, like I said before, and I'll say it again, you have my support. Well, Thank you very much. Anything that I can do to help you guys out, um, including donating my time for machining and helping you out, is not a problem. But this is awesome. So, thank you once again. Have a thank good day. You.